Have you ever heard people talk about how they're finding all these great clients on Instagram and you wonder how are they doing that? Or maybe you're here because you haven't even considered using Instagram to find clients and you're considering trying it out. Instagram is a powerhouse. Long gone are the days of Instagram when it was used to share pretty pictures with a Sierra filter on it. Instagram is now one of the top social media platforms out there and it has gone way beyond just sharing pictures. Now you can share videos and reels you can go live, you can do stories, you can have guides. But at the core, it is still a social media platform and it is there for networking. And that is why it's such a great way to find clients. So in this video, I'm going to give you four tips on how to maximize Instagram to find clients. Tip number one, build a recognizable brand. When people visit your feed, they need to know instantly who you are and what you do. Your account, it needs to be ready and it needs to represent your brand. So here are a few things you need to do to get set up. Use a picture of yourself as your avatar. People want to connect with other people. They want to be social and it's a really good way to have that personal feel. In the name section, not to be confused with your username, you want to have your first name and then what you do. So for example, Julia, WordPress expert. Now this is a great hack because it makes your profile more searchable. So if someone is looking for a WordPress expert, they are more likely to be searching for that than a specific name. Your bio should tell people what you do, how you help people and how they can contact you. So for example, you could say, I build websites to help small business owners stand out online. Include a call to action to direct people to the link in your bio, which leads me to say, make sure that you do have a link in your bio. It could be a direct link to your website, or it could be a link to book a discovery call. Then create highlights so people can access quick information and they can find out what you do and who you do it for. You could have highlights for your services, your offers, your prices, testimonials, FAQs, whatever information you want your potential clients to easily find on how to work with you and what to expect. These are all really important steps to take before you even start sharing content. When you're ready to start posting content, it's really important to stay consistent with your branding so people start to recognize you. If you have professional branding, you could reference the guidelines for that. If you don't have professional branding, don't worry. I recommend you choose a color palette, maybe one to two fonts, and then keep that consistent throughout all of your content. Which leads me to tip two, be consistent. If you search online what to post on Instagram or when to post on Instagram, you're going to get a million different answers. All we know about the Instagram algorithm is that we don't know very much about the Instagram algorithm. Best tip I can give you is that whatever you choose to do, be consistent. Some people will say reels are the only way to grow your account but I see accounts grow all the time and they've never posted a reel. So you need to do what works best for you and then just stick with it. If you're looking for somewhere to start, maybe just start with posting two times a week. Do it at the same time and the same day. Keep an eye on the analytics and then decide from there what's working. If you see that your followers are more active on a different day or at a different time, then switch it up. As you use the platform more and more, you will figure out what works best for you. Tip three engage with others. Now, Instagram is a social media platform, so you gotta be social, right? Above all else, Instagram cares about people being social and engaging with others, because at the end of the day, if you're engaging with others on the platform, then you are on the platform and you're using it, and other people are on the platform and they're using it and they're staying on it, and that's what they want. So that engagement between you and someone else indicates to Instagram, oh, this is a real person, and they're really engaging with someone else and keeping those folks on the platform they will like that. Now you don't want to engage with just whoever, you want to engage with your target market. So if your niche is beauty salon owners, then go and find Instagram accounts owned by beauty salon owners. Follow them, like their posts, comment, interact, engage with them. Tip four, authenticity is key. Now how often do you get sent a generic DM and you ignore it 
because you think it's spam. People don't want to be sold to all the time and you don't have to sell to people all the time. Just be authentic, be genuine, share who you are, not who you think you should be. This not only applies to what you post on your feed, but also how you interact and engage with others. More and more people are wanting to make real genuine connections. There was a time with Instagram when it was all about having a beautiful feed and beautiful pictures. Now people just really want to get to know the real you. All right, so those are my four tips on how to maximize your Instagram presence and find clients. Now what do you do when you get a lead from Instagram? I'm glad you asked. Check out my video on top tips for discovery calls so you can nail your next discovery call. Plus, there is a bonus freebie in there for you.